What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension for architecture video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna continue our series on SketchUp extensions for architecture by checking out an extension that significantly expands the curve creation tool set inside of SketchUp. So this video is a continuation of my series on SketchUp extensions with architectural applications. If you're looking for download links and more information on those extensions, including this one, make sure to check them out in my free architecture extensions guide at the sketchupessentials.com slash architecture extensions. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so within SketchUp itself, you really have three options when it comes to creating curves. You've got these three curve tools over here that create different arcs. So you've got the arc um, from center, so that allows you to draw an arc from center like this. You've got the three or the two point arc, which is the one I use the most, where you set two points and then the bulge of a curve. And then you've got the the three point arc, which allows you to draw an arc that goes through a couple different points. So you can see how you can use this to create these different kinds of curves. But really, up to this point, um, or really as a part of the base SketchUp installation, that's kind of what you're limited to from a curve standpoint. And the other thing about those curves is you can edit them in the sense that you can use like the scale tool to move things around but beyond that um, they're they're kind of fixed and if you find yourself needing to make significant edits you have to redraw them however with this free tool from Fredo 6 um, called Bezier spline it contains a number of different curves um, or different tools for creating different kinds of curves so the way these tools work is by creating control points so for example if I select this first option you come in here and you set different points in order to set the way that a curve is created inside of SketchUp and so you can see how when I did this what this did is this created these control points in here well one of the things that's great about this tool set beyond the fact that it has a number of different curves that you can create is that these curves are all also editable, meaning you can drag these control points in order to adjust your curve. So where before with these tools that are built into SketchUp, you're kind of stuck with what you drew and kind of adjusting them with the scale tool. This tool actually allows you to move the control points around in order to edit the curve that you've created. And so this, this contains a number of different kinds of curves. So for example, there's a tool in here that allows you to just create a simple polyline. And so when I do this, all this does is this creates a line that's actually in here as a curve um, or as a polyline inside of SketchUp. It's not a number of different individual edges making up the curve, but instead SketchUp sees this as a complete curve inside of SketchUp. And so there are a number of different curves that are in here, like this one allows you to create a polyline with arcs on it and then you can set the radius of those so for example let's say I wanted this to be 60 inches when I click and set these points what it's gonna do is it's gonna um, create a curve around that corner that's going to be based on a six inch radius. So you can set these to create different things like that as well. But one of the things I really like about this is not only can you edit these curves by editing the control points while the tool is active, but when you're done, so if you right click on this and click done, you can actually come back in and edit these curves after the fact. So you can do that by right clicking on this. And when you install this extension, what it's going to do is it's going to add a couple different menu options down the bottom that you can use. So you can use this to either edit your arc corners or your control points. So you can see how with this curve that I had already created, you can come in here and you can edit these control points um, by clicking and dragging them even after you've created this. And so if I click done and I go back out of here and I want to change this again, I can just right click on it and change it again. So these are live curves that you can use and adjust as you go. So it's really nice to be able to make changes in here without having to redraw these um, without having to redraw everything and so another cool thing about this tool is when you click in here and you create a curve like this one when you're done and you've set all your different control points, you can right click and not only can you click done and set this as a curve, there's also tools in here to close the loop. So you can set this to close the loop nicely and smoothly or you can set this point yourself or you can right click on this and click cl close loop with line which will draw, just draw a line back to your original base point. So you can also use this to close off different objects when you're creating them. So this really kind of expands the different kinds of shapes 
that you can create inside of SketchUp. And so you can also convert your lines to different kinds of curves. So for example, if I right click on this curve, there's also options in here for either convert to or transform to different kinds of curves. So you can see how, for example, if I wanted this, um, instead of being the curve that we have in here now, if I wanted to convert this to the classic Bezier curve, I could just click on this and this would actually adjust this using the control points that we'd set in order to create that classic Bezier curve. So you can actually use this to convert this to different kinds of curves as well. So you can see how this adds a significant number of different curve types inside of SketchUp. But what I really like about this extension is that is the editability and adjustability of the different curves that are created in here with this tool. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this extension, if you've used it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking this time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.